Hey, it's Kevin, the paracordist. I'm going to show you a super slick handcuff knot in paracord called the Boatswain's Handcuff Knot. Starting with a bite, tie a prussic knot around your finger with the paracord. Just take care to keep the cords nice and clean, aligned with each other, parallel but not overlapping. I do two passes, as shown here. This is basically the Prussic knot at this point. When tied around a rope, it has resistance to sliding when it's under weight. An excellent and popular knot in the climbing world. It also makes a great knot for an adjustable tightener on a guy line for a tarp or even attaching a tarp to a ridge line. Next step, you want to take each of the working ends and pass it through the loops created by the Prusik knot. First, I'm showing the one on the right. As you draw it tight, you form one of the wrist loops for the handcuffs. Next, repeat the process using the working end on the left to form the left wrist loop of the handcuffs. At this point, the knot is essentially formed. You can remove the prussic from your finger, grabbing the two cords that come out of the bottom in the middle, and work the prussic knot tight. This will allow the handcuffs to stand alone, ready to utilize, but unlikely to come apart on their own. It's the Prusik knot's ability to resist lateral slide that makes these handcuffs so special. Once engaged around the wrist, tugging, pulling, and drawing the wrists apart will generally just tighten the knot and prevent it from slipping loose. Other one? Mm -hmm. With the handcuffs drawn tight and the Prusik knot working in your favor, you can quickly tie a wreath knot or a square knot to lock the handcuffs in place. Is other people working on this too? Mm -hmm. Now go practice this on your wife and kids and have a great day. Good job, assistant. Now go swimming. <laughs>